yourself into, Jean-Luc. Hmm. Sir Patrick, first day of filming Picard, what kinds of memories or feelings surfaced from the first day of filming The Next Generation? Almost nothing. Really? Yes, because from the first day of filming Next Generation to the last day of filming Nemesis, 12 years later, so much was contained in that time and so many transformations occurred that there is little benefit from referencing the beginning. Many of the things that ended up in the show were things that he originally, initially did not want to do um, because he just didn't want to repeat himself. There was a rule kind of out of the gate, like, I don't want to do the Borg again, I did it, it's tired. And we said, okay, well, we're not going to try and convince you if you don't see it. And then as we broke story, we ended up coming back around to a version of the Borg story that hadn't been told before. And when we presented it to him, he was like, now I want to tell a Borg story. So it was an interesting, it was an interesting thing. There was one thing that was now I'm interested, which was the 35 page document Michael wrote after the first rejected pitch, which Patrick read and said, I'm in. And then we did none of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Culture. Well, what, wait, what happened? How did, what, what happened in, the, in that change? The story continued to evolve? Is that what happened? Uh, it just, that, that document was much more about creating a tone and a, an approach to the material and to the character of Jean-Luc Picard that s felt like it would satisfy the things that Patrick told us he was looking for and the things he told us he was not looking for. The Federation is not what it used to be. The Starfleet is not what it used to be. They are suspect institutions, and we learn that quite quickly. Well, that destabilizes everything in, in the Star Trek world, and it's one of the things that I found so interesting, not to say exciting, about, uh, about Picard. You know, he, he was so clear, I don't want to be the captain of the Enterprise on the bridge with the crew, going from planet to planet, you know, and I'm, I'm just looking at him, talking to him, this is a man who's 20 years older, he's lived 20 more years of life in his own life. Obviously, Picard has too. His life would have to be different for simple plausibility, and then, of course, we knew we needed to come at Patrick with something that would hopefully grab him, so that's more what that document was about trying to do. Jean-Luc's discontent, um, unhappiness, uh, guilt-obsessed sleep. Um, none of these things were part of his world, except very, very rarely. I mean, uh, Q could disorientate him a little bit. Um, it was those aspects which, which were the clues, the little indicators into how this new series might possibly go. And with each little step, I became more and more uh, committed and uh, finally uh, was uh, passionate to be part of this return. Engage.